All right. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of like an intro to TradingView and MetaTrader 4, how to use the actual programs and the website. So simple TradingView. After you already logged in, whenever you want to pretty much search up a currency that you're going to trade, you want to make sure this is on ticker. So it shows you the actual chart, USDJPY. I always recommend uh, FXCM, as you can see on the bottom right here, uh, after all exchanges, FXCM. So quickly, you want to select on interactive chart. And simple as that. So, so top right, here you have your monthly, or here you have your time frames. At the top left here you have the currency you're currently looking at of course um moving averages are there but let's actually uh get into um how to use the actual program so all your tools are to your left here and pretty much you want to like i know this is going to be like popped out like this you just want to like shove this to the side because it's unimportant so like I said, all your tools are to the left. So the tools that I want you guys to favorite. So this is your toolbox, I guess you could say. Your favorited tools. The tools I want you guys to favorite are your trend lines. So just click on the little star. Your horizontal lines. Fibonacci retracement. Trend based fib extension. Your rectangle. Your eclipse. Your long position. Your short, your short position and the date and price range tool. And those are the tools you're gonna have favorited as, um, as well as your text. So, now, how these tools actually work. So your horizontal lines will be for your support and resistance. So it's as simple as you click on the tool and you just paste it onto your chart. Simple as that. Then obviously you could move this around and do whatever you want with it. Your date and price range tool will be to draw your monthly support and resistance. So this pretty much just gives you a calculation of the pips, the price, and the date, and how long it took. Your long, your long and short position. So your short position, whenever you enter um, a buy, let's say we go to the four-hour time frame, and uh, I entered a uh, a buy right here earlier today. I actually did take this trade, and it's just pretty much to show you to not look at your mt4 to show you when you're in profit and when you're in drawdown so i always recommend to use the date and price or to use the um long the long and short positions on your trading view because if you're looking more at your trading view and less at your profits then you're less connected to how much money you're making or how much money you're in drawdown and there's less emotion involved to the money. So it's more, you're more focused on the technical aspect and you're pretty much um, blocking out any emotions. And when you're trading, you want to trade with no emotions. So this helps a lot with that. Same thing here. You have your short position for the sell. So whenever it's in red, you're in drawdown. So let's say if I placed my sell order on this candlestick, right? Or on this candlestick, let's just put it right here, right? I put it like this. To where my stop loss is and then wherever my take profit is so it's simple as that now rectangles it's these are just drawing tools it's as simple as just clicking and dragging these are you would use these to draw areas of support resistance draw areas of exhaustion etc as you can see i have a bunch of horizontal lines for support resistance for different time frames and stuff like that fibonacci you'll be learning about this tool later on in the course uh your i guess another drawing tool ovals uh, i don't really use these too often but sometimes i do text simple as just <laughs> pasting and texting like this cannot get it any simple but obviously i'm just showing you guys how to use actual programs so your trend lines um these are pretty much your random lines so you're going to be using these for random areas of support resistance like right here i see an area of support which you'll be learning everything of this later on so simple as just dragging, clicking and dragging, just like that. And if you actually click and drag this and hold shift, it goes in a straight line or, you know, for trend lines. So these are just things to keep in mind. Now, 
time the time frames these are some this is something you want to pay attention to and uh, take notes to so these are the time frames so this is a monthly time frame that means that each one of these candles represents a month same thing with the weekly time frame each one of these candles represents a whole week of market movement and then so forth the daily each candle represents a day then the four hour represents the four hour time frames you can see to the uh, right over here as you can see it says it's a countdown 47 minutes 46 minutes left until this candle closes and um, it also tells you where price is so to start off with I want you guys to take a picture of my settings of my trading view and I want you guys to pretty much change your settings to my settings so you're gonna right click go to properties candles blue or bullish candles blue bearish candles kind of like a, a gray borders black and then wicks black if you want pause this take a picture of it doesn't matter background you can pause this and take a picture of it and then for the vertical grid lines everything you see a checkerboard on it's down here so essentially the colors doesn't matter you just drag it out so it's transparent so simple as that now let's move on to MetaTrader 4 so minimize this so you're gonna open up your XMMT4 after you've already downloaded it now to link your broker account it's as simple as going to file open an account for a traders way I know you have to type in TW space corp I'm not a hundred percent sure a hundred percent sure yet for LQDFX. So you type in TW Corp, press scan, then you'll see it pop up here. If you opened up a Trader's Way demo account, you're going to select Trader's Way demo. If you open up a Trader's Way live account, you're going to select Trader's Way live. And then you log in with your information here with the information that Trader's Way gave you for your live account or for your demo account. Once that's done, um, this down here should uh, pop up. And you'll see all the data centers and how much MS they're getting. And then pretty much um, when you check trade, um, you'll see your account balance down here to the uh, bottom left, your equity, free margin, and then profit screens to the right. I always recommend to change from profit to as points. So it shows you how many pips you're catching because you want to be looking at the pips. You don't want to be looking at the money too much. You want to be looking more at the pips because if you get good at catching 25 pips a day all you simply have to do is just up your lot size like it's as simple as that just up your lot size and just get good at catching a certain amount of pips a day and once you reach that goal close your trade so now to actually install uh, my template that I have here so this is my template right it's as simple as um, when you first open up trading view it'll show probably something like this ugly as shit I know so to actually change that um, you're going to download my template, simply drag and drop it to the, um, desktop, go back to your XM. You're going to go down load template, go to your desktop, then click on Raul one TPL. And then it'll automatically pop up just like mine. It's like my settings. It'll tell you yesterday's high, yesterday's low, you know, the current support and resistance, um, you know, just, just little things like that that will help you out in your trading. Um, okay, so on uh, trading view or on MetaTrader 4, my apologies. Here you have your time frames. Again, here's a monthly time frame. Um, pretty much, I don't use trading view at all. I only use it for RSI and ADX, which you'll be learning about those indicators later on. And I also use it for entering trades. So to actually enter a trade, you can either do new order where is it? Uh, I believe it's somewhere here. Or if not, then um, I think it's just right click. Just simple as uh, going to one click trading. Well, I'm, I'm confused. I'm pretty sure there's a way you could enter trades through here. But anyways, disregard, <laughs> disregard what I just said. So it's as simple as entering your lot size and clicking buy or sell. Then that's pretty much it for this video it's just a little quick rundown how to use these programs obviously if you want to learn certain things about the programs you could look it up 
but I don't really use this program all too much. I only use it for um, uh, entering my trades and executing my positions. So that was about it. So if you guys have any questions, of course, always contact me at any time. My email, you can contact me by email, phone call, doesn't matter, Instagram DMs, just hit me up if you have any questions at any time.